Jefferson in the backfield with Fajardo. Fajardo pressured and he's going down. A sack for the Bears on their first defensive possession of 2012. Cal family, my name is Todd Barr and this is Coach Sash. How are you doing today, Coach Sash? Doing great, doing great, Todd. Glad to be here. Appreciate it. Um, I actually have a few questions uh, just to get for the future recruits and the new Cal family to get to better know you a little better. I'd love to do it. So how do you feel about the defense this year? I know you came in and just saw a little bit of the spring ball. So how do you feel about it so far, your new defense? Well, really excited coming out of spring. Feel like that we've got a chance to be a very good defense and one of the best in the Pac-12 and also in the country. Uh, Coach Andy Boo is our defensive coordinator, and, and I'm really excited to be working with him. Um, got a number of talented people and a number of talented areas on the defense, and I think we're going to have a really good year defensively. I'm, I'm really excited. I agree with you. I agree with you. So what made you get into coaching? Oh, what made me get into coaching? Uh, football has always been a part of my life and ever since I can remember, and uh, love playing it. And uh, coaches have always been one of the most influential people in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so it's one of those things that's in my blood, and uh, I always looked up to coaches, thought that they made a difference. It's one of the few professions, I think, that make a difference in people's lives day to day and uh, over any period of time. And so that's why I got in, but, but basically it's the love of the game. I'm very passionate about the game, and uh, I really couldn't think of anything else that I would love to do, want to get up every day and be excited to do. I agree, I agree. Um, you say coaches are influential to players. I know you coach football. What do you try to instill in your players outside of football as moral wise? Well, I just try to instill, you know, football is one of those things, and I guess it's the reason I got into it. The things you learn in football are the things that help you throughout life, you mm -hmm. know, preparation, hard work, sacrifice, uh, you know, giving of yourself, being able to work with others. And those things always work into life. And so I think that just to emphasize those main goals, uh, striving for perfection. You may not reach it, but in striving for, per for perfection, you'll reach excellence. So I think if you just take those things that help you become a good football player or a good football team or a good football coach and apply them to life, I think the things work out for you. I feel that's important because some coaches just solely harp on football and don't really provide a role model or somebody that a player can look up to because, of course, the player leaving their hometown or where they're always used to living, they don't have nobody to talk to. So I feel that it's really important that you really provide that relationship with the player that they can come talk to about different things besides football. I like that. Well, no, I, I agree. I mean, I, I've got a lot of players and, and uh, you know, I guess one of the biggest things about being a coach for me is is I've been in it, this could be my 21st year. so. There's guys that I coached when I was very young um, and uh, that are now married, have kids, and if I play, happen to be playing in that city where they live, mm -hmm. coaching a team that's going to that city, they'll come see me and tell me, hey, coach, you know, when you said this to me um, back then, I didn't realize what you meant, but it, re it really is affecting me now, and, and things you taught me back, you know, 10, 15 years ago, uh, I still hold on to now, and they really helped me. Those are the things that now that I'm in coaching, mm -hmm. not when I got into coaching, but now that I'm in coaching, uh, that really are special to me. I mean, I, obviously wins and losses, big wins, uh, uh, you know, taking a young man from being, uh, you know, 18 years old or 22 years old mm -hmm. and watching the growth and, and seeing him walk across the stage, uh, uh, those are all special. But when they come back as, as really men and head of households, um, That's where say things that yeah say things that uh, that I talk to them or talk to them about, mm -hmm. um, or they say thank you for things that you helped me through. Uh, those are the things that really you know make it special for me now. So my closing question is: What advice would you provide to some of your future recruits coming in to get prepared for the college level? What would your some advice be? Well, I think the biggest advice is to make sure that you follow what your parents have instilled into you, or maybe a grandparent or, or an uncle. Uh, these people love you and they, they want the best for you. And so the things that they're trying to help you with, the advice they're trying to give you, that's good advice to succeed in life. They've you know, experienced everything that you're going to experience, so they want to help you to stay away from the pitfalls. Uh, besides that, I would think in school, make sure you take it seriously. If you're a football player, uh, the, you know, at the longest you're going to play to about 33, 35 if you're a Hall of Famer. If you're lucky enough to get in the NFL, the average career is 2.3 years. You're retired at 25, 26 years old. You have the rest of your life. You have another 50 years uh, to 60 years of your life left. So the education you receive in college uh, and the choices you make along the way are going to allow you to be successful, which will allow your children to be successful, which will allow your grandchildren to be successful. So when you decide on a college and you decide where you want to go, 
uh, you need to select a place where that paper that you're going to get, you're going to walk across the stage and your parents are going to cry and your grandparents are going to cry and your coaches are going to cry when you finally walk across the stage. That paper is going to mean something to you and it's going to help you along the way. And there's no better place in the country you can get that besides Cal. So when you get that degree, uh, you will have a piece of gold in your hand. And uh, I think that, you know, to me, that's the biggest advice I can give you. Appreciate it, Coach. Okay. Truly do. No problem.